it really is a momentous occasion for us and uh, we are grateful for your time. And this morning you should have been here. 1,200 people and I think that might be one of the single most largest engagement projects in the history of Calgary. 1,200 people in this room. Take a truly transformational journey as a college. How your cosmopolitan comprehensive community college can be at its absolute best in the year 2020. I'm so thrilled that so many of you are coming together to have an important discussion about the future of our community and in particular about that cornerstone of our community which is education. Good afternoon everyone. Can you hear me in the back? Can you hear me up top? We couldn't see the video up here but it sounded more like radio. And I'm okay with that. My name is David Gray. I'm the host of the Calgary Eye Opener on CBC Radio. This is what I look like if you haven't met me before. I used to be on television. Some people knew me from television. When it was on TV, I was often compared to Peter Mansbridge. <laughs> Though almost always as that David Gray, he's, uh, he's no Peter Mansbridge. It's lovely to be on radio and it's lovely to be here. What a beautiful place. What beautiful digs. Have you looked through the glass here? Now, for those of you who went to university back when I did a long time ago, that's a library these days, so you know. They look different. This school looks different. It's wonderful to look around and see the faces in the hallways here, to see the beautiful contemporary art that's hanging in this space. It's a gorgeous facility, and what a lovely day to bring people together. Well, welcome to a wonderful moment in the history of Bow Valley College. I'm told the college is celebrating the culmination of a year's worth of extensive work of planning and listening and collaborating, thinking, writing, more planning. I'm sure a little bit of hand-wringing. We'll find out more about that maybe at some point. It all comes down to today and the release of this. This is the Vision 2020, a report to community. For anyone who worked on this, and I know that's staff, and I know that's donors, it's alumni and business and government and community leaders, everyone who got involved, today is about bringing your ideas to life. Finally, for some people, I'm sure that's how it feels, but that story, frankly, is not for me to tell. To get us started today, I would like to invite the Bow Valley College Board of Governors Chair, Joanne Stalinski, to come forward and bring greetings from the board. Joanne. Hi everybody, good, mo good afternoon, not good morning, and thanks David. This is an incredible day that many of us have been waiting for, and it, it is a great day in the life of our college overall. Today is, as all of us know, all about understanding how we together, and that's everybody in this room and many people who aren't here today, will over the next nine years work together to bring about Bow Valley College at its best in 2020. And Sharon assures me that even though it's just 2012 next year and 2020 is, it would seem to be eight, it's actually nine, so we're actually glad we've got those nine years when you actually count it out on your fingers. <laughs> on behalf of the Board of Governors, 
I would like to thank each and every one of you that contributed to this very exciting and, and unusual process, really the first of its kind with this number of people who contributed to what we will be in 2020 at Bow Valley College and what all of us in this community can be. Uh, so we're very excited about what you see, you will see and hear about Vision 2020. Before Sharon comes up to share the vision, because I know you're really wanting to hear that, I, I do have a distinct pleasure to welcome some special people. Our MP Lee Richardson, MLA's Alana DeLong is here, Dr. David Swan, and Paul Hinman, and Wayne Cowell. So thank you very much for coming. I haven't quite seen Alderman Giancarlo Cara yet, but I think he's supposed to be here. And Alderman Jim Stevenson is here, so thank you. There he is. So thank you very much for coming as well. <laughs> of course, we have some proud Bow Valley College Board of Governors members, and I would just like to mention their names. They're here. Vice Chair David Fulton, Amina Beecroft, Philip Uglo, Laurel Madro, Vicky Chiu, Rylan Slipchuk. And we are so pleased as well to have three of our past board chairs here. How good is that? We have John Curry, we have uh, Carol Ryder, and I think Scott Thawne is supposed to be coming. He's very tall, so we'll know when he's coming. But we really appreciate them being here for something that is uh, very important in our, our lives and hearts. It's, <laughs> yes. So a final welcome and thank you for being here on what is a historic day at Bow Valley College. Thanks so much. Thanks, Joanne. Now for any of the students who are here, and I see there's lots of students up at the back. You're probably wondering why are all these important people in suits and fancy hairdos doing? What are they here at our school for? Why are they taking up our lunch space? We're about to explain that part of this whole thing. It's my pleasure now to introduce a woman who's wearing a beautiful shimmering outfit right here. Sharon Carey. She's the president and CEO of Bow Valley College. Since 1997, Sharon has led the college. She has a belief, I'm told, in the transformative potential of education. Who can argue with that? Under Sharon's leadership, Bow Valley College has nearly doubled enrollment expanded its reach throughout the region, as well as nationally and internationally, introduced dozens of new programs, embraced a new mandate as Calgary's uh, only comprehensive community college, and substantially increased revenues, that's an important thing, largely through entrepreneurial efforts. You may have noticed some parts under construction. Looking out the window there, you see all that stuff that's under construction? You can blame her for that too, I think. To meet the growing demands of the workplace, the college is in the midst of a multi-million dollar campus expansion project to create access for some 20,000 full and part-time students. 20,000 coming through here. Of course, Sharon didn't just turn up in Calgary. She is a fourth generation Calgarian. She serves on the board of the Calgary Homeless Foundation. She uh, actively participates in the Rotary Club, the Chamber of Commerce, the Mayor's Panel on Urban Sustainability. You name it, you'll probably find her there. In 2005, the Premier awarded Sharon a Centennial Medal for her contributions to the province of Alberta. The Mayor recently presented her with the 2010 Calgary Award for Education. It's really quite a list. She's really important. Sharon, please come forward and share with us this document, Vision 2020. Hi up there. Thank you, David. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this tremendously exciting moment in our college history. We're here to celebrate the results of a community-based inquiry that Bow Valley College embarked on a year ago under the direction of our Board of Governors. An extraordinary process that we call Vision 2020. And over the course of the last year, we listened to more than 2,000 people who each gave us a half day of their time, a pretty important contribution to this college. Especially at that one day in May. Who was there for the one day in May? Let's hear you. 
It was a, a very touching moment. And we listened deeply to find out how Bow Valley College could be at its best serving you in the year 2020. Because Vision 2020 will set the direction for our college from now until 2020, our job as educators was to turn the thousands of ideas and wonderful forward-thinking ideas that our community shared with us into an actual strategic plan that we could deliver on. And I'm about to share with you that plan and the five underlying strategies. But before I do that, I want to assure you that 10 years from now, our college will be a radically different place than it is today. The model of education that has been in place in our world for the last couple of centuries doesn't work for the 21st century learner. So we're creating a new model. And let me tell you some of the highlights. Robust technology integrated into everything we do to deepen the learning opportunities and extend our reach in ways we can't even at this moment envision. Education real time, online, meaning that absolutely everything will be available online should you want it and stored online so you can go back to it. Education in your hands, fast, focused, flexible learning tailored to your exact needs, any time, any place, any path, any pace. And faculty who are architects of learning, crafting new models of education delivery and working alongside learners to build learning communities with opportunities for lifelong learning. Solutions for the looming shortage of skilled employees. With our demographic deficit and increasingly complex work within the next 10 years, there could be as many as one and a half million vacant positions in Canada for which employers will not be able to find qualified workers. We need to help upskill our citizens without expecting them to leave the workforce to get those skills. Partners for life, making the learner experience of Bow Valley College something of a membership a lifelong community of learning from which the learner will never disconnect. Relevant and engaged learning that they will enjoy today and tomorrow again and throughout their lifetime. Imaginative and tr life transforming approaches to delivering quality education, customized and flexible education that is learner centered and outcomes focused. Of course, we can't predict everything that will emerge over the next 10 years, but I can tell you big changes are coming and our college is getting ready. It's a different world and it's coming quickly. But there's one constant in all this change that drives the five strategies I'm about to share with you. And that driving force is your demand for any time, any place, any path, any pace learning learning that fits your schedule, your learning style, and your need to access only as much as you need when you need it. That's why we already offer more than 700 courses and 60 credentials through our membership in eCampus Alberta, all fully online. That's why we already have 4,000 online learners at Bow Valley College. That's why we have mobile and flexible learning op opportunities, online or off, at your pace or in traditional face-to-face -face classes, or a blend of these options. We have the solutions you need. And so, David, now the moment you've been waiting for, the five strategies that will enable us to fully realize any time, any place, any path, any pace learning. The plan that we intend to deliver to you, our community, between now and 2020. First, being a learning partner for life. You told us you wanted to remain connected with us and build a learning relationship that would last a lifetime. We know that means forming lifetime attachments with our alumni. And it means staying connected to you and to your employer. And we know that the imperative to remain current will be the order of day for, for each one of us. 
So here's a couple of examples, a glimpse into what we're already doing with other organizations in Calgary. We just launched an Aboriginal Addictions Counseling Services Certificate, but we're not offering it on campus yet. The first iteration of the program is underway in partnership with Sunrise Native Addiction Services Society. So their staff can get the additional training they need in their field at their location. We're also talking to energy companies and brainstorming ways we can collaborate so they can keep their employees upskilled and employed at the same time as they grow their industry. In fact, we've already done a superb job of upskilling at AltaLink, helping internationally educated professionals enhance their essential intercultural communication skills. Part of this strategy is to customize education to make it more learner-centered. And here's an example. We put our early learning and child care certificate program online so we could reach all Albertans. We took the traditional 45-hour classroom courses and offered them as 15-hour one-credit courses. And by unbundling the curriculum, we improved the accessibility, the affordability, and the flexibility. Now no one needs to leave their home community in our province or their job to become fully certified to work with children. I'm very proud that we offer real-time online high school courses for adults who are upgrading. Picture this, on any given day, these live classes allow students to choose to come into the class, sign in from their home wherever they might live, and everyone can review the sessions from the previous classes because they've all been stored digitally. Being a learning partner for life also requires us to forge innovative partnerships with other post-secondary institutions. And I'm very pleased that Dr. Tom Thompson is here representing Olds College, and Dr. Ron Sept is here representing the University of Lethbridge. Because when we open the South Campus in 2013, it's going to be home to Campus Alberta South. Our partners, the University of Lethbridge, Athabasca University, and Olds College are going to join us there. In fact, the University of Lethbridge has already moved in, and we welcomed about 800 of their part-time bachelor's degree management students earlier this year to our North Campus. And I always know when they arrive because they're in suits. Think of it. Graduates can take their next credential without leaving our campus. And that will hold true for all of the four institutions and their alumni. Second, delivering excellence in applied education. You told us you wanted us to deliver even more of the best and more relevant market-driven educational programs and services. Well, we already have a holistic approach to delivering education. We do this through 10 college-wide learning outcomes that are integrated into the curriculum. Everything from communication and teamwork to citizenship and intercultural competence, plus health and wellness and environmental sustainability. Those are competencies our graduates leave with. And these outcomes provide momentum for new programs too. For example, the sustainability outcome has fueled a program we'll be offering next fall a sustainable business management post-diploma program. Both this certificate and a public relations diploma that we'll be offering next year require previous post-secondary credentials. Because one of the changes we're already seeing is that people in Alberta are looking for advanced skills from colleges that they can couple with their excellent university education. And that becomes a great opportunity for us. Our excellence in applied education gives us opportunities for franchising our work locally and internationally. For example, right now, a university in Jamaica is using our curriculum to deliver our Canadian early learning and child care program on their campus. We control the quality, we create the curriculum, and they deliver the program. 
That's a winning combination. And we're developing a new model to help learners navigate post-secondary education that will guide them and support them during their time with us and beyond and re reinforce that sense of community that they all said they valued so highly in Bow Valley College. The third strategy is optimizing our community connectedness. You told us to promote a vibrant community to foster a sense of belonging, whether it's belonging to the college or belonging to the surrounding community. Well, the very essence of a community college is to connect with its community. Our college plays a vital role in the economic, cultural, and social vitality of Calgary and region. By catalyzing our community resources, and by that I mean opening the doors and inviting the community in, we can add value to the learning experience. Plus, we hope to give every graduate of our college a, a service learning experience in our local and global community. We deepen our connections through our work with our partners, with learners, with governments, with employers, employees, and other post-secondary institutions and community groups. Actually, we already have close to learning 80 learning partnerships and more are to come. Fourth, the fourth strategy, advancing the diversity advantage. You told us that you wanted us to be a place that no matter where people come from, they'd feel at home here. You know, our college is already so fantastically diverse, and you just have to look behind me to know that. We have age diversity, cultural diversity, learning diversity, linguistic diversity, program diversity, and delivery diversity. Indeed, Bow Valley College is the most diverse work learning community in Calgary, and Calgary is the third most diverse city in Canada. You know, on our campus, our students speak 84 languages and our staff speak 42. We're working on that. And in fact, they come from 102 different countries as newcomers to Canada. We want to benefit our learners and our external communities through our diversity advantage. We will share our intercultural competence with organizations who also want to build more inclusive businesses and, through the connections we have, make global business connections. And here's a couple of examples of how we put this diversity advantage to good use. Our Directions for Immigrants Career Services offers study groups to prepare international, internationally educated professionals to challenge accreditation exams. Just to cite one statistic, 112 foreign trained doctors have passed Canadian accreditation exams after participating in our program. And I look forward to 112 new physicians in Alberta. <laughs> Our Connexion Carrière service provides career and work experience programs for Francophone Albertans. And I saw a bus pass recently said there are 225,000 Francophone Albertans. And we will have more career programs to come that will be offered fully in French. And as the largest ESL educator in the region, we found a way to bring English instruction to rural and remote learners through video conferencing. Just some examples of how to put our diversity advantage to good use. Well, now the fifth and final strategy, growing our capacity for the future. You told us to do more to reach further and stay true to our core. And that's going to require more partnerships, more technology, and more well-qualified and engaged people who support Vision 2020. 300,000 students have already walked through our doors since 1965. We predict that by 2020, this number will be half a million half a million connected learners and their employers engaged in a lifelong learning partnership with a vibrant and meaningful community college. I hope that in the year 2020, we'll be able to say, we listened, it's now 2020, 
and we continue to be the solutions provider at the forefront of lifelong high-tech, high-touch learner experiences. Any time, any place, any path, any pace. So many people here in this room have contributed to this amazing process, and I want to thank each one of you and invite you to take this journey towards Vision 2020 with us. Thank you. Well, take a deep breath, and now I'm going to change gears. And I have a very special announcement to make. And it just ties so beautifully into that fifth strategy I talked about, growing our capacity for the future. And it sows the seeds for making Vision 2020 to come to life. This is one of the highlights in the history of any college. And we're going, delighted to have this opportunity to celebrate this one with everyone that's here. We have some very special guests with us today. Ross Glenn, president of RGO Office Products, is here today with his wife, Shirley, his family, and members of the RGO team, and some great friends he's worked with and socialized with over the years. Earlier this year, well, actually over a few years, we've had some conversations, haven't we, Ross? Actually, we've had lots of conversations. But I asked Ross if he would invest in Bow Valley College specifically if he would invest in this vision of Bow Valley College. And we're excited today to announce that Ross Glenn and RGO family has committed the single largest donation in the history of Bow Valley College, one million dollars. Thank you, Ross. Now, in combination with matching funds of a half a million dollars through the Government of Alberta's Access to the Future Fund and previous donations from Ross and RGO, this brings their support to $1.7 million. Ross, that's $1.7 million for new ideas, for innovation in learning, for new programs, and for creating opportunities for our students to pursue their ambition, ambitions. That's $1.7 million for investing in student success and Vision 2020. In recognition of this support, I am so delighted I get to announce the naming of the RGO Library and Learning Commons in this building. In fact, right behind me. As you look at this facility, you can see the new signs designating this space on the pillars and doors along the window and along the windows. I don't think we've taken you there yet. We've got to show you this. The RGO Library and Learning Commons is the very heart of our institution. It's the most prominent facility in this building. And it's going to get even more prominent in about a year. That's when we open that beautiful south campus across the street. Well, it's beautiful under that tarp. And as uh, various programs move across the street, we're going to double the size of the RGO Library and Learning Commons and expand it upwards to include the second floor of this building. I want to thank you, Ross, for your vote of confidence in Bow Valley College and in our vision and in the more than 12,000 learners we currently serve. With your support, we'll grow our capacity to serve 20,000 learners in the future every year as Calgary and Region's one and only comprehensive community college. Now, Ross, if you would step forward, I think it's step sideways, in honor of your support, we're going to present you with a small token of our appreciation.
Now, Ross, this is a present you get to take with you. You brought, did you bring your big vehicle? Because you're taking this home with you. Uh, for everyone else, this plaque reads, thank you to Ross Glenn and RGO Office Products for your generous support for Bow Valley College students. The RGO Library and Learning Commons, which brings together a wealth of resources to support learner success, is designated in honor of your leadership in and commitment to our community. Please join me, everyone, in thanking Ross Glenn, his family, and RGO for their tremendous support. Thank you, Sharon. I'm just going to move this up a little bit. Thank you, Mr. Glenn. You've all been standing for quite a while, so we're almost wrapping up here. Thank you all for coming and being a part of this event today, and that includes the folks upstairs as well. A few quick housekeeping things. If you would like to see this online, you can find it at bowvalleycollege.ca. Uh, so that's a great place and a great resource. For those students who did not receive a brown bag lunch, a few are still available on the second floor just past the elevators. Dig in while you can. Uh, and for any of our friends in the media who may be here and would like to ask a few questions of those up front, there will be a scrum afterwards at the podium. Have a wonderful afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Remember, we've got, what, nine years now to pull all this together. The best of luck. Thank you again for coming.